What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Part 4. Um, I'm ready for this game to start picking the fuck up. Holy shit, but I can say, I ain't lie, bro. It is kind of fun, you know, playing this fucking game. <laughs> to the voices and shit. It's kind of fun, man. I'm just ready to get scared, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I never thought I'd be saying that in a horror game, but nigga. Can we get on with the scaring motherfucker? But yeah, man. So last episode, we was reading these boring ass poems that nobody gave a flying fuck about. But, you know, I don't know what the fuck. I even gotta write another fucking poem. Oh, fuck. And y'all know I'm about to just fucking write any fucking thing. Y'all know I'm finna rock. So, without further ado, bruh. Let's get into this motherfucking game, man. You feel me? Let's write this motherfucking poem. It's a horror game, by the way. Alrighty, so we have to write a second poem. So it, so we got infailable existence alone, laugh extreme. So I'm gonna just start. Y'all know me, man. We trying to get through this bullshit. So I'm gonna just, huh, I'm about to just click, spam, click, spam, spam like a motherfucker, bro. I don't got time for this bullshit, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't got time to be doing all this bullshit, man. Come on, man. We're just gonna fucking. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna squeeze through this fucking shit, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you're gonna squeeze through this fucking shit like nothing, like that, just like that. Just like these, motherfucker. Just like these. <laughs> you, know, you know we don't give a fuck about that bullshit, bro. We trying to get to, to, to some action. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. <laughs> the club meeting already, man, oh, yeah. <laughs> the club meeting, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a little more comfortable here. Oh shit, hold on, I almost fucked my shit up. Hold on, did I fuck my shit stop? Oh, hold on. Alright, my bad. I just had to, I thought I stopped my recording on accident, bro. I was gonna be sick. I was about to be, t I was about to be irritated. I swear to God. So yeah, I got a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Is that a good thing? Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Yo, what's good, Sayori? How you doing on this fine, beautiful morning? Look like you're in a good mood today. Is she always in a good mood? <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good fucking mood. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it's always a simple thing with you anyway, bitch. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack, though, oh, man? Nigga, I just got a, I just got in the classroom, bro. Nigga, you just came in here, bro. Why are you just going to the vending machine and grab your ass some snacks before you even came in here, bro? Now you gotta drag my dumb ass with you to go get some snacks. Why you trying? Why you trying to take me with you? What you trying to do in the storage room? <laughs> I'm down. Just letting you know, bitch. You trying to got good treatment? No thanks. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's my boy. That's my boy. You gotta let these bitches know, bitch. You were just in the hallway, bro. You probably passed about like like Japan. You probably you probably passed around fucking five vending machines. Probably one on the fucking corner of the street. One by the mini mart. One by the fucking sewer system, bitch. Cause they be having vending machines everywhere down there. Motherfucker, you telling me you didn't you didn't stop, drop, and look? Okay, I'm hungry as fuck. Let me go grab me something to eat. But hey, if she wants you to go with her, bro, man, just fucking go ahead. Eh? That's not like you at all. Well, this is the real me. <laughs> I have my reasons. Okay? Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Oh, shit. Oh, hold on. She's stealing? What you, what you doing? What you doing? What, what we don't know about Sayori? Eh? Why did all of a sudden... No reason, really. Just give me the motherfucking purse, bitch, and give me that $5 you stole from me. <laughs> I, just I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Sorry, nervously retrieves her coin purse. Why, is that bad luck to be going to bitches' purses, nigga? Then she uh turns it upside down and lets, it contents, let its contents spill onto the desk. 
Nigga, what about fucking tampons in this motherfucker? And you tell her to fucking turn her fucking fucking purse upside down, motherfucker. What the fuck? She's 18. Yeah, I know. She, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Come on. Come on, man. Come on now. What if you got fucking tampons in that motherfucker? That shit's all over everywhere now, nigga. Ha ha ha. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. What? What you got? You got some snacks? What you trying to do? What you trying to do, Sayori? That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. That's what I said. See, my nigga, wait, we nigga like, bro. Hey, 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 I'm telling you. That's what I said, bro. Nigga, you probably walk, you probably walk past like five fucking vending machines, motherfucker. Like, come on, look at your face. Like, you know you, you, know you on that bullshit. Look at look at the bitch face. You know she on that motherfucking bullshit. You pass you probably pass by like sixteen vending machines, nigga. And now you want now you now you like, come on now stop playing the game. What you trying to do? So either you're not hungry or you want an excuse to take a walk, nigga. Why do nigga nobody trying to take a walk, bro? And, if, and maybe you should have you should have had a better excuse than that. Come on, if you wanted me to go with you, bitch. You probably should have had a better excuse than that shit, bro. Or you plan to conventionally forget that you spent all your money so that I will lend you something. I mean, fuck, I ain't lending you shit, bitch. I ain't, I ain't, I, ain't, I don't have no simp bucks to give you. You, you, sound, you sound crazy if you think I'm, finna give, I'm about to give you some bucks, nigga. You sound crazy if you think I'm about to give you some money. You better go suck some <laughs> for some money. <laughs> I could pull it down and you could get to work. Fuck you mean? But that's one more thing. You are you are always hungry, bitch. Like you like, dude, your appetite is just crazy. I don't know how the fuck you ain't on, on my 500 pound life yet, bitch. Holy shit. And so that only leaves that, that one option. Yeah. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ha <laughs> ha. Yuri suddenly appears. Eh? I didn't know that, that she was listening in. Bitch, you all in my damn business, you big titty NBA player, bitch. Her face is her face is her face is in her book as always. Ah I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Jay to let me borrow some money. You think this bitch is going to fucking convince me to lend you some motherfucking money? She, she is in the same boat as you. She can get on them knees. Just because she tall and got some fat ass boots blah, 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 that I will fucking motorboat them motherfuckers. That doesn't mean I'm going to lend her shit. What I look like, the, the damn bank? What if I need my money for, for lunch this afternoon? You going to help me for my lunch? What if I want to buy a damn sub? It's some cookies or some shit like that. I can't do that if I lend you some money, bitch. That's... Don't get me involved in that, Sayori. See, she's smart. Hey, I like you, Yuri. Yeah, that's what I mean. Stay in your lane. You know what's up. B besides... You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Exactly. Hey, sorry, sorry, you my girl and all, okay? You my friend and shit, okay? I fuck with y'all. I fuck with all y'all in this club room, okay? Even though I'm just doing this to get some pull, but I fuck with all y'all. I fuck with you, sorry, But you gotta take some responsibility, bro. Don't depend. I'm not your nigga. We not together. Maybe if we was together, then I mean, I might lend you some, maybe. But nigga, we ain't together. We're well, like a fucking. Like a, a fucking bank or some shit like that. A Bank of America, nigga. Ch Chase Bank, nigga. Money don't grow on trees. Like what? Like come on, you gotta have, have some responsibility. You came from the house. You should have asked your mother for some money. What the like, boy? And frankly, after pulling at a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is far enough retribution. Damn, I'm just staring at the ass like, damn, damn. Okay, I, relax a little bit, shit. <laughs> ah, like, you going crazy. Relax, holy shit. Okay, I, 
She, she, it's not that serious, okay? Damn. She, yeah, she tried to finesse my ass. Like, relax, shit. Relax. Did I just... I didn't mean it. I got too observed into my book. Yeah, bitch, you need to um, you need to um, take care of that. You know what I mean? But hey, I'm not saying she's not spitting facts, though. You know? You... like when you speak your mind yuri i really like when you speak your mind yuri it doesn't happen much but it's a fun side of you that's there's no way you could think that you're right though i did something bad and now i have to accept the revolution retribution uh, retribution that Still coming from you, Sayori? I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't it? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her fool your ass. Sayori knows exactly what the fuck she's doing. She's a, she's a dumb bitch, but she's a dumb smart bitch. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me into the club before even telling my ass. She, she got me in this situation. Her ass trying to, she bratted me with cupcakes. She told y'all bitches that I was gonna join the club. Lying. I didn't wanna join this bitch ass literature club, nigga. Nobody wanna read. I was gonna probably join a damn basketball club, the anime club, or some shit like that. Nigga, I would rather join a nature watch club than being this bitch. Shit. But. You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the up uh, for the cupcakes. Oh, cupcakes. How evil. <laughs> oh, cupcakes. They do cupcakes will do it. <laughs> oh Lord, the evil cupcakes. <laughs> if you guys want if you guys if, if y'all ever uh, wanna brag somebody with a good ass with some cupcakes. <laughs> so I had to trick Nasuki into making them. Damn, you just some devil, ain't you? I'm kind of parched a little, parched a little bit. My bad. Come on, give me some credit in that, sorry. Come on, man. You know damn well we're all about the cupcakes. Man. What the what wrong, you bitch? Damn! Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, bitch! Damn, did you just get smacked on the ass? Do so I just smack the shit out of her? What the fuck? Hold on. Oh shit! Damn, what the hell just happened? Bitch just got bitch smacked. I don't know where something smacks her in her face and tumbles into. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Damn! I just fucking SmackDown versus Raw Diva slapped your ass. Damn, bitch. Yo, now, do you like that, bro? Who, 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 who just smacked her? Who just smacked her? I bet it was Natsuki. Who would have bet it was Natsuki, bro? See, this sounds that she would do. Ow! What was. Eh? A cookie? Showing up, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Sorry, glances around. Is this a miracle? It because I paid my retrib my restitution. Retribution. Exact. Actually, that that one almost worked. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought you smacked the ass. Something to say. I smacked the ass with a fat ass cookie. Oh, I'm asleep, bro. I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard your, you blob about the cookies. It was actually worth seeing your reaction, though. Ha ha ha. <laughs> now, Silky, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sorry, it hugs the cookie. Damn. Okay, I thought it was going to be some damn cat fight or some shit, but okay, I guess. Motherfuckers getting happy with some cookies and shit like that, I guess. Jeez, just fucking eat the cookie, bitch. God damn, stop hugging the cookie. Stop trying to fuck the cookie. Stop trying to stick it up your fucking twat. Just eat the damn cookie. Golly, bro. Sorry, rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big ass bite. Show again! Mom, <laughs> bro. 
Tori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going to do a lot over just one cookie? Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah! Yours, yours looks really good too, Natsuki! Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate! Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> I'm a voice actor of the year. Let me know down below. <laughs> Tori gets out of the seat and goes by Natsuki, then wraps her arms around. Damn, brother. You just love hugging motherfuckers, don't you? Shit. Come hug me. Shit. I'm lonely. Aw, oh, jeez. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to gnaw Sayori's off of her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a big bite out of Natsuki's cookie. What the fuck? Hey! Did, did you silly just do that? I don't know what the fuck that shit says. Mouthful, Sayori uh, trots away to safety. Yori and I laugh as well. Damn. The nose running shit. Alright, I'm worried about this shit. Fuck it. The old stuffy and shit. I'm getting cold, Polly. I feel it. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Now she glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck happened? What the fuck the bitch at? Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard about her being late today? Not me! Yeah, I haven't heard that shit either. I don't know who the fuck the bitch at. She got, cause she's calling traffic, bitch. I don't know. Shit. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay! Of course she's okay! She's probably just has something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh, you don't think she, she has a, ha <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She probably more desirable than all of us combined. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are, bitch. What the fuck was you? Was you giving top in the bathroom again to some nigga? What was you doing, girl? Well, well, I want you in this classroom, bitch. Why are you late? They said it was unusual that you don't be late. Tell me what the fuck happened. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried of any or anything. Eh. Monica choose the club over her boyfriend after all. So you got a boyfriend, bitch. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica, uh, quiz uh, quizzically, I didn't go to college, glances at me. What the fuck are you looking at me for? Ah, oh, never mind that bullshit. I don't give a fuck. What well, held you up anyway, bitch? What the fuck happened? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, I can't hear like a one of those skinny, flat booty ass white girls. <laughs> she got those type of voices, huh? That makes no sense, though. You would have had, you would have heard the bell ring at least. Exactly. Some fishy. I'm telling y'all, bro, it's something we don't know about Monica. She sees, he sees the school thought. What the fuck? Something we don't know about her. Uh, I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Yeah, what kind of excuse is that, bitch? You're kind of sweating. Stop lying. You was giving slop in the bathroom. That, yeah, just, just keep it real. You were giving, you were giving some niggas the gagger treatment in the bathroom. Something, something. No way. 
What kind of excuse is this bullshit? Now you was giving niggas some top, nigga. Fuck. Piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. Man, stop lying. Um, I kind of just started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. Yeah, you're kind of sweating a little bit. I don't believe this bullshit one bit. You, you, something we don't know about you. That's so cute. You should play piano for us, Monica. That's. Mo Monica looks at me. Why the fuck are you staring at me, bitch? What you need, man? Why you bitches all staring at me? What the fuck you want? Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds lame as fuck. I don't care. I also look forward to it. No, the fuck I don't. I don't want to hear it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Jay. Fuck. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> stop it. Stop trying to stop trying to drill me in with the with this type of energy. Stop trying to do this to me. Stop it. It's not working. It's not gonna work with me. Strip. Ah. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Ah, don't worry. I ain't been practicing a whole lot recently. And I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of fucking luck, bitch. Thanks. So, di didn't I miss anything? Did I? Nah, not really, man. Just some bullshit with fucking Sayori trying to rob my ass. Then you got Natsuki slapping bitches with cookies and shit. And all that ain't nothing really happened, man. Just the usual bullshit in this classroom. This boring ass club with only four people in it. it. Ain't that fucking weird? But okay. In a big ass classroom with these decks in that motherfucker. Like, like, can y'all pick like a basement or something to have this club at? Why are you having it in this fat ass classroom with these decks in it, bro? Like, nigga, the fuck? What, it's supposed to be like 20 niggas in this club or something? I choose to leave out Sarori's mis uh, mischievous uh, escapade. I, I guess that's a smarter way to do it. Um, um, I'm sure Natsuki would end up complaining to her anyways. Yeah, the bitch was a little titty bit snitch. It looks like everyone has already settled the fuck down. Sarori somehow all, all already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Jay! Jay! Sorry, suddenly comes up to me. I'm going to go get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? Why the fuck are you trying to get me to come with you all the time? What do you do? Supplies? Are you lying again, bitch? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica, we're going to make some posters and stuff. So I heard. So I need to go find some... Some crayons and markers and, and glue sticks. <laughs> oh, I see. Sure, I'll go with you, man. Because you sound like you're sincere this time. Yay! Okay, Monica. We'll be back soon. Uh, are you going with Jay to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'll be happy to go with him. Oh, my God. Oh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It it was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay? Okay! Ready, Jay? I think I got the voices down packed now. Y'all let me know. As I'm, I'm getting better at these voices, bro. I think I, I finally, like, got the like the voices right. You know, Natsuki is more like, what the fuck are you saying to me? She's more like that. Um, Sayori's more of the, okay, we're going to go out and find something. She's more of the excited type of airhead type of bitch. Monica is more of the, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Monica is more of the, sa not sassy, but, you know, the, the white, typical white girl. 
Well, she's not the like she got the typical white girl voice. Well, okay, like if you want to go, we can find it. Like <laughs> she got that type of voice. And girl reads the quiet. Oh, okay. Um, we can go back tomorrow and see what we can find. You know, I, hey, I got these voices down pat. Y'all know I got these voices down pat. Ready, Jay? Yep, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Let's go kick this popsicle stand. <sighs> Sorry, and I exit the club room. I follow behind as Sorry hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm taking a kid to a mall or something. Sorry finds pleasure in the simplest thing sometimes. Hey, Sorry, what actually are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of a literature. Like, what the fuck are we gonna do? Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're gonna do a poetry performance. Oh my God. You trying to put the crowd to sleep? Oh shit. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds trash. That sounds dog duke at water. Kind of dull. Yeah, see, he with me, man. You know that shit sound ass, nigga. It sounds ass. Jay! You're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like, you say the lines of the poem like, between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinking roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But what ends I have summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once preposterous feel before me is but a warp. It's, it's, but, it's but a barren wasteland. Can you shut the fuck up? Like that ass. Can you shut the fuck up? Like that. Sorry. Don't ever say that corny shit again. Don't tell me this shit. Don't tell, don't tell her that shit was beautiful. Don't do it. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. See, me, hey, hey, me, hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, what the fuck are you? What, what, who are you, nigga? Fuck, who you think you is? The, the, grand, po the grand poetic bitch? What the fuck? Eh, you meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Ah, I know. I know. And I really, deep down, don't give a fuck. <sighs> I just admit that it's pretty unordinary contrast to, uh, to your cute self. Stop trying to make it better, bro. You know that shit dog do your water. Haha, <laughs> don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. I guess. Ah, I'm so excited. This festival is going to be so much fun. Sorry spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Jay, this classroom over here is, is empty. What are we finna do in this empty classroom? Oh, oh, oh. What are we finna do in this empty classroom? <laughs> I hope you're doing what we finna be. <laughs> Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? <clears throat> it's been a long time since I spent with time with Sarori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, balling happy vibes from the world around her. That was so corny. Man. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. And uh, come on, man, nobody care, bro. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nobody gives a fuck. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. The two of us enter the classroom. 
So I head straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons. Sorry, it pulls a box of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand too. They're kind of dirty though. Sorry, starts pulling various, 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 I didn't go to college, crayons out of the box, reading the color names. All right, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find. Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. What? Well, fine, fine. Hurry the fuck up. Then at least move aside so I can look for the damn poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Smack in that motherfucking head, nigga. Sorry, bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. God damn. <laughs> She falls onto the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 You okay, bitch? You dumbass? You fucking smacking your noggin on fucking self and shit? My forehead! So, sorry clutches her forehead. Jeez, sorry, Ari. You dumb as fuck. Can you be careful, bitch? Before you knock your ass out and niggas don't be got... No, come on, now. That's just like you, isn't it? A pure dumbass. Come on, let me see that shit. Since Ori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out by the closet. You have to move your hands, Sorry. Oh, shit, that's her. That's me. <laughs> you have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second, man. Sorry slowly releases her, hand, her hands from her forehead. Hold on, she kind of, I ain't gonna count, bro. She kind of filling out a little bit. As I take a look from this angle, she kind of filling out, like... Filling out like 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 balloons. You feel me? Like, heh, heh. I didn't know you had that type of shit, Sayori. I didn't know you was rocking like that, Sayori. I didn't know you was rocking like that, Sayori. I'm gonna have to go balls deep. Yeah. <laughs> Let me stop. Ugh. I generally brush her bangs to the side. Nigga, come on. Ow! Sorry. That's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. It only, uh, a bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna fucking swell the fuck up, bitch. You don't know, like you gotta you got beat the fuck up, hit with a Mike Tyson punch out fucking punch. I shouldn't find you. I should find you some damn ice. Jay! Well, well, where would I even find ice around this time? Oh, I guess a cold drink would do. Man, she would be all right, man. If you still need no motherfucking ice, man. Tell this bitch to walk that shit off. You don't have to. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Damn, doing the voice on to get to me now. <laughs> I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wincing from the pain, sorry, it makes a silly joke. Ha 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 ha! What the fuck are you saying, you dumbass? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right, man. Plan 101. Go find this bit of ice. I pass her on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. I look at the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter since it would be used as an ice pack rather than a drink. But I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I'll purchase that one. In just moments, I'm already running to the classroom while I left Sayori. <sighs> Dude, why do I always think, like, when the music like cuts off, I always think it's going to be, like, a jump scare in the next scene, bro. Like, she has one palm on her forehead, and it's using her other hand to constantly scoop crayons back into the box. At, at least they were already in the wrong parts, or in the wrong spots, before I spilled them. Sayori here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sorry opens the cap and starts drinking from it. What? Sorry, what are you doing, you dumb broad? That's for your fucking head. It's for your forehead, you dumbass. Ah. Sorry, I forgot. Ha ha ha. How you forget in the span of like one minute, bro? Like, come on. How hard did you hit your head? Like pretty fucking hard, but nah, nah, never mind. She was already, she already, she already had less brain cells before this. In general, they just made her lose more. Shit. 
<laughs> the bitch was hanging on for dear life in there. <laughs> Shit. Tori so places the bottle against the bump of her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll be it'll feel better soon. Damn, can I bring my water bottle up here, man? I need some fucking I'm parched, bitch. Yeah, I bring it. Damn, my voice starting to get all raspy and shit because <laughs> no, no, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I shouldn't like like as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm recording this in the morning. I shouldn't just get straight up and get on and play games like this because my voice is gonna be kind of raspy a little bit, you know. But hey, it is what it is, man. It looked like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey Jay! This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Uh, what the fuck do you mean? Like, what? You know, how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fall behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I, I'll fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. Ha 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 ha. I hate this laugh shit. Like, can y'all do without adding that? And you, and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. I don't really give a fuck. God damn it, bro. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know. Did I really do that bullshit? Because I don't remember. Yeah, you don't remember? Come to think of it. Maybe I do remember a bit. By by that, that means I don't remember a damn thing. Just letting you know. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, but hey, I guess we did. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. That's tough. So in a way, it was my fault. Nigga, shut your dumb ass up, bro. Here we go with this fucking simp shit. How is it your fault that this bitch is clumsy and retarded and keep hurting her fucking self? Okay, motherfucker? You're not her damn guardian angel, nigga. Shit, relax. You know, be the player you play. Like, like okay, yeah, I said, yeah, I was, I was too focused on my games, okay? You know, okay? Maybe you should stop, you should have stopped being a dumbass. Then maybe you wouldn't hurt yourself. Be blunt with it. Kind of like this time, too. Nigga, how is it your fault that this dumb ass, the bro, that she hit her fucking head on the show? How's it your fault? If, if I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have a, Then we just fucking skip the dialogue. Even after all those, these years, you rushing to help me, even though I'm being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> they don't call me. They call. They don't call me Hard at J <laughs> for nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't call me Hard at J. <laughs> Hold on, there, big fella. Hold on. <laughs> don't call me that bullshit, man. You sound like you like fucking 65 years old. Don't call me that. And I don't really do this kind of things all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Yeah, you are my friend and all, but stop being a dumbass. You probably knew it. I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you're a best friend for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Jay, I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? I don't fucking know. Shit. Forever? If I'm, um, if I'm, if I'm honest to myself, there, there's no one telling when we're in a, after college or whatever. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sorry has a whistical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the other side, and when I see her deep in doubt like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't want to worry, Monica, you know. Good luck with that. She's gonna see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Sorry, hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches her forward again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Oh. 
Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's keep this popsicle stand. Can we get to the horror? Shit. I fall so already out of the classroom. Sorry plays with her bangs to try to hide the bump, but without much success. In a moment, we will uh, make it back to the club room. Alrighty, let's get it. Ah, you're back. Good timing. I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems. Ah, sorry, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about it, man. I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. Damn, bitch, like, you just, just, just let all know, huh? Well, anyway. <laughs> she's that fucking just. <laughs> Damn, she's she just fucking. Were, were you able to find everything we need? Oh, I have it, right? Uh, Sorry, Frank, Franklin Lee glances around herself. Ah, I forgot all of that stuff. Calm down, Sayori. Calm that ass down. I have it all right here. In the creases of my ass crack. Fuck that bullshit. Let's get to some fucking. <laughs> I found a poster paper too. Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Jay. Uh, well, Sayori. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure. Yeah, fucking it, quote unquote, adventure, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is this, adventure time, nigga? What the fuck is this, ain't no damn adventure time. Ah, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too! Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Oh, my God, dude. More poems, fuck. <laughs> Fuck. War cans of ass form. Fuck. That fucking form, bitch. Fuck. Guess I, I guess I just go grab my damn poems. Fuck. I just wrote anything, by the way. This is the second time. So if you're saying it's good, you're lying. I just literally just wrote anything down. I didn't even put no heart, no dedication, no work into these poems. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Let's get to this poem, bro. Ah, Sayori, I ain't going. I'm gonna get Natsuki out the way, man. I, I do Sayori. I might do a laugh, man. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. Well, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I, I didn't ever try, nigga. I pushed anything. Literally. I just I just wrote anything down. I don't give a fuck about these bitch ass poems. Titty bitch. Little itty bitty titty bitch. God damn. Phew. Huh? Phew? What? Oh, uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take it as a win. <laughs> that in that order. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment. Haha. <laughs> Got to see someone recognize my experience. Well, then keep practicing and maybe you'll be good at me someday. That's, um, uh, nigga, I, your last poem was fucking six cans of ass, okay? Six cans of ass. You can't be criticizing my shit with your ass fucking poetry. That shit was ass, nigga. Ass. Someone tell me not to get your point, Mr. Point. <laughs> Come to dig of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Ah, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sorry, Jay, sorry. Sorry has a quote unquote type all of a sudden. Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone, um, so fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? Well, bitch, I don't fucking know, nigga. Maybe my dick long, I don't know. It's like she's dragging around dead weight. Nigga, you got no weight on you at all. <laughs> Shit. Uh, that's a little unnecessary. Yeah, bitch, relax. Like, 
Like, calm that shit the fuck down, bitch. Like, relax. But think of it this way. If I weren't for me, she would probably be, she would just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could see we each, we, we care, we each take care of each other in our own way. Exactly. How about you get out of my damn business? Like, this ain't none of your business what me and Sorry got going on, man. Little titty bitch. It's not, it's not your business. Mind your business. You need to worry about your boobs coming in. No, don't worry about my business. Stay out of my a nigga business. Let a player play. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Uh, cool, you don't, you don't need to get it. It's not it's not your business. It ain't, probably, it ain't none of your business. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Oh, I haven't read this bitch poem yet. Here. I can already tell from this shit. This shit's 10 packs of ass. I can already tell that. But, hey, let's start reading. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang to, like chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of her words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone, because I'm gonna fuck that bitch up because I hate spiders. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit, bro? Are you good? Are you good at the crib? Like, I, 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 I don't like spiders either, bitch, okay? I just spaz them, bitches. They like, they like a spawn from the devil or some shit like that. But, dude, god damn, bro. This is worse than the other one, bro. This is not, this is not even 10 packs of ass. This is not 11 packs of ass. This is not 12 packs of ass. This is not 13 type of packs of ass. This is not 14 packs of ass. This is 15 packs of ass. Not bad, right? Motherfucker, what the fuck did you just have me read? What? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. Bitch, this was way too long. Can you find a balance? I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not, because <laughs> this is ass, okay? So I don't expect nothing from you. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I thought I'd have to explain it. What, you ain't spiders, bitch? <laughs> Someone you can explain complicated issues with, much simpler analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? <laughs> Do you know? Because <laughs> I think I'm staring at one right now. Shit. <laughs> of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or pleasure or guilty pleasure. <laughs> Hold on, what you what you be doing? What you be doing in them sheets? Some something that you're afraid of someone find out. They make fun of you and think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone, and it makes them happy message 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 I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things <coughs> shit well you're definitely right at least I can relate to that bullshit and I'm sure a lot of other people can too if the, if, <laughs> uh, it's what I do best after all See, I'm reading, I'm reading it in my, my regular voice on accident. Fuck, my bad. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. Like, but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too. So, look forward to it. I'm not looking forward to it, man, because this shit was 16 pounds of ass. 
I'm getting Monica out the way, over your ass. Hi again, Jay. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon, you'll come with a masterpiece. Ha ha ha. I won't count on that. I'm not a damn scholar, bitch. I just wrote anything. I ain't lying. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Duh, bitch. Want you to come fucking in your face? Sure, here you go. I'll give my poem to Monica. All right. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori like the other one that you wrote. Bruh. Bruh. Nigga, I wasn't thinking about anybody when I wrote this shit. I literally just clicked anything. Anything. And why you keep, like, what's, what, what's, what you, what's your, fiat, what's your, what's your flaxation with me and, and Sayori? Why is everybody all in my damn business with Sayori? You in my business? The little titty bitch in my business? You all you niggas in my business. I'm, I wasn't thinking about her. I wasn't thinking about nobody. I was thinking about getting that shit over with so I could get to the damn horror. You two are like the dy dynamic duo. Uh, haha. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating, yeah, bitch. You really are exaggerating. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a lot. I know. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you could talk to me every now and then too. Or can you just give me the damn poem, bitch? God damn. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, am I? Well, bitch, you're kind of weird. And you, 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 okay. I know it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, I thought, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, I don't worry, man. I get what you're saying. Not really. Well, all right. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? No, I don't want to read it. But it don't force me to. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let me get take a look. Let me, get, let me take a look at this kind of ass, man. Save me. The colors they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Let me go down to this garbage. The noise it won't stop. Violent grating, waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Seening, cassine, I don't say I, what the fuck is these words, bitch? Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vignette on a piece of crap. I don't know what the fuck that shit mean. An endless poem of meaningless. Okay, this shit was. Yeah, okay, it's, it's why I can lie, bro. This was the worst poem because I didn't. Most of these words, I, I don't know what the fuck they mean. I, like this fucking handwriting. This fucking poem was 20 packs of ass. Like, I, I, this was the worst poem I fucking read today. And I just started reading them. What the fuck? Man, get the shot of my face. Get the shot of my face. Get the shot of my face. What the fuck was this shit? It's even more abstract than your last one, bro. Huh? Yeah, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. Yeah, it's garbage. You need to stop it. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Yeah, I fucking hate it. It's just terrible, bitch. I, I really want to fucking like, like, spear your ass right fucking out. So maybe read this garbage. Do I go fucking couch, bro? This shit was fucking ass. I didn't even know most of the words you was writing, bro. I didn't go to college. How many times I'm gonna tell y'all niggas that, man? No, I never said. Oh, wrong voice. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Like choosing where I, like choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of your poem. It, it's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines, Really short makes it feel like there's trying to speak over the noise. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bitch. I ain't on couch, bro. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though, yeah. What the fuck is this shit, bro? Are you good? <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Well, bitch, 
What the fuck? You know what, man? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck about the poem, bitch. Can I just go home? Shit. A poem can be as abstract as the physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing to of the day. I'm skipping this shit. Skipping it. I don't care about your writing. Skip. I don't care about your fucking tips, bitch. I didn't ask you for your tips. Thank you. I didn't ask you for the tips, bitch. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Thanks for listening. I didn't listen. I skipped it. I don't want to hear it. Fuck on my face. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Rory. Come here. I, I do Yuri last, bro. Since he got me to the poem, Shimoku. I would do Yuri last. This whole voice is more easier and, and simpler to do, really. Why the fuck you staring at me, bitch? What the fuck you want? Jay! I really love your poems. Stop it. They suck. I, like, dude. I can't believe you're being hiding these from me. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. What the fuck? How's I'm hiding anything? Uh, you saw my poem the other day. I don't even write. But... Your poems are so good. What the fuck they are? Yesterday and this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. No, bitch. I haven't done shit. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way. Like, literally. Stop, stop lying to me. Eh. No way. Not even Nasuki? Well, I guess Nasuki is like least likely to admit how much she likes on it. Come on, now. Bitch has got a little, little she got a little bit sense before. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Man, dude, shut the fuck up. Shut up, man. Shut up. 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 Fucking up my mic. Shut up. I don't want to try to hear that bullshit. Uh, stop digging real things, idiot. I just mean that you're really an expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? Damn, you think your life's stupid, bitch? Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> no life ain't stupid, nigga. You just, you just stupid yourself. Yeah. But you somehow make everything in, in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking? Let's not talk about that, bitch. You can't cook. You're not wife material. Fuck. So, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings of the, do you than I can do. Wait, so Monica was right then. So she was right then. Are you so? Bro, it's something we don't know about her, dude. She come to class late, lying about fucking playing the piano. Then she talk, then she talk about. She know I was writing about Sayori and shit that like I was thinking about it and shit. Nigga, what are you a detective? It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. Yeah. I don't know if I understand. Sigh. You don't understand when I try to explain it to you, do you, Tahari? I pass Sayori on the head. <laughs> hey! I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Mm, maybe. Sorry, starts feeling well. Pencil between our hands. Hey, hey, Jay, will you give me your poem? What? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? What the fuck you want to keep my poem for? It's, it's garbage. Because, well, it's the first time you read something for me. But she wasn't written for you. What the fuck? I wasn't even thinking about you, man. This nigga is lying. <laughs> Shit, I wasn't. I wasn't even thinking of you or nobody, bro. I was just putting anything down. Uh, sorry, you completely you you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you, bitch. Sigh. <laughs> Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever, man. Just take that poem, man. Really? Ah, I broke my pencil. Sorry. Uh, hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped, but being into in uh, intent intentive. Of her surroundings, he bumps right into me. Sorry! It's fine, it's fine. Get out my face. I'll get it for you. 
I bent down to pick up the broken pencil. So I clutches the desk box I heard to soap on herself and he's like, I'm a, I'm a little clumsy today. Yeah, bitch, you, you're doing the most. Like, you're hitting your head, you're, you're breaking pencils and shit. Like, nigga, calm down. <laughs> Let's sit down, sorry. Yes, please, sit down for she fucking kill herself or something. Yeah. I grab Sari's arm and help her sit on the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I like it. Oh, how long is this shit, bro? You got me fucked all the way up. If you think I'm about to read all of this. You sound crazy. Insane. Did you de did you deliberately write this like this on purpose, bro? Bro, this, this is a damn nigga. This is a damn, this, this damn nigga essay, nigga. Might as well be an essay. You crazy as hell if you think I'm about to read all this bullshit. Nigga, fuck out of here. This poem is 30 packs of ass. No, 50 packs of ass. Because I'm old that shit. I'm not reading that shit. I look like. Holy crap. Did, I, did, did you really write this? Of, of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but nigga, this ain't the best poem ever, bitch. It's, it's long. I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. My nigga taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that shit. I, I see it, motherfucker. Not really. I didn't read that bullshit. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Ah, uh, thanks. I feel like, I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Can we get to Yori, bro? Yeah. Writing is the best. I'm tired of doing your voice. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Whoa, oh, 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 a message. Ah, uh -huh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry, we always had a habit of getting upset with something before. I wonder if she. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be parasitic, pessimistic, pessimistic. Yeah, man. Then go to college. Then go to college. Okay, man. Let's get to the last pack of ass poems of the day, and, and I might call it a day, bro. Fuck, man. I'm tired now. <laughs> I'm tired of doing the voices now, bro. Fuck. Let's see what you written for today. Hmm. Well, well done, Jay. Your skills are already improving. Really? Bitch, I just wrote anything. But thanks, bitch. Coming from you, that means a lot. Eh. It's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try a little, try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very um, intimate, 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 intimate exercise. I see. That's a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you like to read it. No, no, I don't. I'm tired of doing the voices. I don't want to read it. Of course, fuck. Is in this poem be rough for the day? You already know how Timothy has hurt me, her damn poem. It, 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 it,
Man, dude, I'm not reading this either. Oh no, 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 no. She got the she got the fucking most fancy handwriting ever. I ain't reading this shit, man. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scattering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the fa the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an imaginary human. What? Wait, what? I gave the raccoon a piece of my bread. My subconscious fell aware of the consequences. Well, aware of that raccoon that it that uh, that is fed all that that fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon are what? What is this word? Uh, the, the raccoon and urge. There we go. It's fucking hair right in this garbage. This is fucking 60 packs of ass. The moon, um, in screamings, it's a f hey, you know what, bro? I'm not all this bullshit, bitch. Fuck out of here, <laughs> I'm tired of reading these bitch ass poems, man. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday. I can see that shit. It's damn. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if that's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem about me either, bro. And I'm not trying to imagine it, bro. I'm not even trying to read all that bullshit today. Fuck. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagine imagine ima 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 imagery. Imagery, a fucking uh, imagery, fucking this fucking word. I ain't go to college, man. And conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it as a face value, then I can imagine. I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Uh, well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in more unusual hobbies. It, and it, it's these sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So it's sometimes really, it's sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Then Natsuki also write about something like that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Eh? She, she did? Yeah, bitch, she did. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not uh, hurting nobody. She, she she's right. Ah, uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seems like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging it, isn't it? Uh, please don't tell her I said that. Ah, don't worry, bitch. I don't want to talk to the hoe. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be running a little bit now. Yeah, bitch, please keep shut up and got my face, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Shit. I'm fucking tired, man. My fucking voice starting to hurt from doing you bitch ass voices. But I'm glad that you're a, you are a good listener. <sighs> Finally. Shit. Poems is out the way. A fucking second draft of ass. That poem was a that, that poem was a hundred packs of ass, nigga. A hundred packs of ass. If I add all y'all fucking poems up together, it adds up to 500 pounds of ass. All y'all together, man. 500 pounds of ass. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the, of the room. Is it this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. 
well, just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a common concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparation. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it, we're going to keep it simple anyway. We want, we won't need much more than a few decorations. Sorry has been working on posters and I designed some, um, pamphlets. Some fam pamphlets, some pamphlets, I think it's pamphlets. Some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P -p -p Nobody, you're gonna put the crowd to sleep. Um, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to be going to choose a poem to recite during an event. But the cool part is, we're going to be, we're also going to be, let, we're going to let anyone come up and recite poems too. So I already putting it all in the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Yeah. Sorry who has been co uh, covering a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Um, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Naisuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple, couple days ago. It's a lot of it's just a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But I still think we, we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone that the literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate, intimate with yourself. I do that every night. <laughs> Finding new horizons and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. It's not a reason why I'm in this club. I'm in this club to get some pull. Don't you want to share that with the others? No, I don't. To inspire them to find the same feelings that bring you here in the first place. Nigga, sorry, sorry I already dragged me here and lied to y'all motherfuckers. I didn't want to be here. I didn't. I know you do. No, I don't. No. I know we all do. Why are you just, are you just talking for all of us, bitch? I didn't ask you to talk for me. And if it all takes is sitting in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sorry looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. Damn it! Fuck it. Fuck. You stupid nigga, bro. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sorry and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. Yeah, right. Huh. Uh, no, no, they, they try, but nobody want to join this garbage ass shit. That's the problem. This shit is ass. This fucking room is packs of ass. Nobody wants to join this shit, bro. Shit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. You... Okay, fine. 
I guess I just have to get it over with. All right. Pew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejected glances around at everyone else uh, expected, expected, expected faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Haha! <laughs> Thanks, everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Bro! <clears throat> Y'all don't see these... <clears throat> I'm smart, okay, sometimes. Y'all not reading in between the lines of when people was talking about death. I think, I think fucking Sayori said something about that yesterday. Now she said something about it. But man. Okay. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to, to practice reciting them in front of each other. Man, come on. Fuck. Come on with the poem. Fuck. Oh my god. No way. Monica. <laughs> this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Ah, uh, of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through the notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. I'm not reading this shit. I'm tired, man. Huh. I'm tired of the poems, man. I'm tired of it. I'm just gonna skip through. Y'all can read this bullshit, man. If I read, I read in my regular voice, bro. I read in my regular voice, man. I read, I'm tired now. I'm tired of my voice, bitch. All right, okay. You can read it. Read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full applause. Yeah, 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 Fuck these pawns. Damn it. Fuck these pawns, man. Can we get to the horror? I'm tired. <laughs> Look like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sorry, hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one is called My Meadow. And this one, and this one is called Skip. I don't know how YouTube would be recording video game for like an hour and two hours, bro. Holy shit, I'm trained. I'm trying to get through the poem shit so I can, so I can end the video, nigga. The, metal, the atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Ah, I don't really understand. In other words, I mean, I've seen poem of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you are reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> you get with all these fucking garbage ass poems. Stop the poem, stop it. These are packs of ass. Then next time, I'm going to make sure you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Nasuki? Hmm. Don't let me go before Jay. Bitch, just go and read, man. Shit. I'm trying to leave. I'm tired. I want to go home. 
Riley Raid is raiding for me. Fuck. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Jay lower everyone's standards a little before. Man, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Okay, I'm tired of you talking shit to me, man. It's not nice. That shit hurts my feelings. I'm just playing. <laughs> nah, bitch, shut the fuck up talking, okay? Will you just sit your little ass and read? Shit. Nasuki. It's fine, it's fine. I'll fucking read next fuck down. I'm skipping my shit anyway. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a Celeste enough for to read. I just have to go with what I wrote for the day. I said I'll be standing up in the poem. I'll be saying my poem with all these bitches staring at me. <laughs> like I said, this bitch is tall as fuck. You in the wrong fucking club. Go join a basketball club. All right. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it too much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that improve over time, dog. Yeah, maybe. This is a long ass game for y'all motherfuckers today, man. Shit. All right then. Let's just leave you, Nasuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Nasuki, uh, begrudge gets a la la. The poem is called. It's called. Why are you all looking at me? Because you are presenting. Hmm. Anyway, this poem is called Jump. Nasuki takes a, 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 a takes a breath. Once he starts resigning, yeah, yeah, it starts resigning. I'm skipping. Fuck, man. Shit. Fuck. You better not make me do that again. Oh well. Do your do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of people would be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise. That's a surprise, Dasuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that all of you have an idea what it's like now. Just make sure to pick up a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? It, it'll be, it'll be, I'll be making, I don't care, I don't fucking care. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite then. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleased, surprised that you are putting in all the effort for the club. All right, man. I need to take a break from the uh, voices right quick, man. Fuck. I need to take a break. <laughs> Tired. It makes me really happy. Oh, uh, yeah. No problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for the day. I know that the festival's coming up, and let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Oh, my God. Uh, it's been working out really nicely so far. I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday, the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All righty. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I do have to get my best to it. It is for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Then I'll do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. Who gives a fuck? Get out of my business. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Ugh, fuck. Jeez, guys. Don't take such a big deal out of it. It, I'm a, it must be a little nice, though. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that shit? It's okay, Jay. You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori has been a little uh, quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. I'm, I'm, I'm start doing. I'm doing a voice. Sorry, I was spacing out. Oh, no wonder. 
Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean, so, so every phone was with our words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? Huh? Huh, bitch? What would you do? What kind of question is that shit? I'm, you're kind of putting me on a spot here. <laughs> I, will, I will walk home with Yuri. I will still walk home with Sayori. Nigga, I'm a player. Okay? I'm a player player. If Yuri wanna walk home with me, I'm not walking home with the bitch. <laughs> I got you, baby. You my friend. You my best friend, bitch. I don't know that bitch. I don't know none of the bitches there. But I know you. So of course it's friends before anything. I got you, Sayori. Don't worry about it. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh. But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. I already see her in the club. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Jay. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri should, would deserve it if she wanted to. Wanted it, so whatever. Sorry, I already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of weird thing for so it's kind of weird thing for Yuri to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> so yeah, man. That's the end of the second part four, bro. This was a long one, bro. I was trying to get through these fucking second draft of camp poem. I kind of got tired at the end, so my bad, but do what you expect. I'm not used to this long ass shit. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club part four. Let me save this fucking shit. It's a long ass video. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys, all I made you guys laugh. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's play right now. I'm out. <laughs>